Guess what we're doing today? Today we are making a birthday cake for Miss Memphis who is turning five years old. Wanna make a birthday cake? Sound like a plan? Let's make a birthday cake! <laughs> if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that bell to turn on all notifications because apparently YouTube changed things and if you didn't click the bell, turn on all notifications, you don't get notified for every one of our videos. So make sure you do that so that you're not missing all of our amazing videos. Let's make some birthday cake. So as I said, we are going to be making a birthday cake for the dogs. The first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you are going to want to have a cake pan. You can either use a little round cake pan or mine's actually over there. I am using a bone shaped cake pan. So we're going to need one big bowl. So I'm using my KitchenAid mixer and we are going to mix together all the wet ingredients. That is two cups of water. Oh, here you want some water? Is that, is that exciting? Does it taste, want some water? Oh man, so exciting. <laughs> Next is one egg, which we already beat a little bit. Next is going to be a quarter of a cup of honey, but don't steal the ingredients, even if it's your birthday. To make sure it comes out of the cup, I'm actually gonna use a little bit of Baker's Joy and spray my measuring cup. So I sprayed that a little bit. Now we're just gonna pour some honey in here. This was actually a trick I learned from some of you guys in the audience. Hey look, dog hair. Do you want some dog hair in your birthday cake? I bet there'll be some. Let's see how this works, ready? Oh man, that worked pretty good. Yeah, it actually did. Look, you can see how much of it is actually coming out without an issue and it's not super sticking to everything. Well, aren't you adorable? Want some honey? <laughs> it's super sticky. Super sticky, how about you? Super sticky. How about you, Shelby? Honey? She's like, oh, maybe. All right. <laughs> and next is two very ripe mashed bananas. Um, the other thing you can actually use for this is like an organic baby food. You can use like a one jar of organic baby food, but if you have some ripe bananas, just mash them until they're all like, Gooey and gooey. Let's see. So, I don't think, whoa, watch me make a mess. Do you like bananas? Oh, you ate it? She just spit mashed banana out on the floor. I think I fooled her. How about you? <laughs> Shelby's like, nope. Memphis is like, me? I love nanners. Let's, let's see if Oakley, well, if Oakley figured out that it's a nanner. Whoa, I'm making a mess. Try it that time. Wanna try it? No, that's what I thought. <laughs> so it's two mashed bananas. So now we're gonna mix these wet ingredients together. So now that that is slightly mixed together, we're gonna add everything else. We are using three cups of whole wheat flour. Mix that in. Memphis, I don't think you wanna lick straight carob. That might not be that, that great. Apparently it was. <laughs> For the flour, some of you are gonna ask if you can substitute a different type of flour. You can do that. Just look up a conversion on Google for a cake. Make sure that they know that you wanna substitute a wheat flour in a cake. There are a lot of different substitutions, but it's just easier if you just Google it. <laughs> Next, we need one cup of rolled oats, half a tablespoon of baking powder, and our favorite ingredient. This is carob powder. It's carob not chocolate, carob. This is gonna make it look like a chocolate cake, but it's not gonna be a chocolate cake. It's gonna be a carob cake. <laughs> Somebody had said in the comments the other day, um, why do you always have to make sure to say that? We all know. Well, some of you that have been around for a, a while may know that, but some people find these videos just by chance and they may see this and go, you're feeding your dogs chocolate? It's not chocolate, it's carob. It smells like dirt. <laughs> Put this in there. Oh, I don't know if I said how much. A quarter of a cup of carob powder. For those of you wondering where to get carob powder, I will put an Amazon affiliate link to it down in the video description below. I buy mine on Amazon because nobody in our town locally actually sells it. Now, we're gonna mix this all together. Oh man, 
Who wants to lick the beaters, birthday girl? It's your birthday. I guess you can lick the beaters. <laughs> Shelby, you're missing out. All right, we gotta give Oakley gets a Oakley. Oakley gets to try it too. Wanna try it? Wanna lick the beaters? Memphis is like that was mine. You wanna try some? Wanna try some? Oh, <laughs> Oakley got a nice chunk off. Oh, you came back. You can't eat the beaters. You you can just lick them. You can lick them. You can't eat them. There you go. Just lick it or that. Whatever you want. <laughs> All right, a little more for the birthday girl because it is her birthday. There you go. You guys can share. Oakley knocked a bunch on the floor. Okay, that's enough. That is about what it's gonna look like when it's all done. And now we are going to take a little bit of Baker's Joy and spray this pan to make it non-stick. And now to pour this in. So let's pour it in. Love is real helping. Yes, this is your birthday cake. It is. Mama's making a mess. She's really good at that. This is going to be a very dense type of cake. Once you have it all in your pan, whether you use a silicone pan or a regular pan, tap it a few times. You're just trying to get it to settle so that there's no big air bubbles. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for one hour. And then to tell if it's done, you insert a little toothpick in it. And if it comes out clean, it's done. If not, put it in for another five minutes uh, or so until they come out clean. You just wanna make sure it's not burning anything, burning the edges. But yeah, I think, I think we're, we're done, we're ready. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so much in that bite. Oh my goodness. Where's Miss Shelby? Like guys, I was napping. How's that? You want another bite? You get another bite, and then, since it's Memphis's birthday, you wanna lick the bowl? Not eat the bowl, but you can lick the bowl. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go throw all these dishes in the dishwasher and throw this in the oven. Not throw it in the oven, set it in the oven. We'll be back. So the cake just came out of the oven and it's cooling and it looks amazing. And while that is happening, we're gonna go ahead and mix together some frosting. Now you can use a lot of different things for frosting for a dog cake. I am actually going to take some whipped cream cheese. I'm probably just gonna use this whole container. Whatever I don't use, I can put back in there. And about a spoonful, a big spoonful of peanut butter. And I'm gonna mix it together. So it's gonna be like a cream cheese peanut butter frosting. About that much peanut butter. What is that, maybe maybe a little less than half a cup? And then, one container of whipped cream cheese. We're just gonna put all this together. Good stuff. Try some. Good stuff. Try some. <laughs> I know, that's gonna be the frosting. Now we're just gonna stir this together. So I'm not fully gonna mix it, mix it, cause it kinda looks cool, marbly like that. I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. It's mixed together pretty good, but it's left made some cool marbly flavors instead of all being one color. So we're gonna do that, and then uh, as soon as this cake is finished cooling, we're gonna frost it. I also feel like this is a really good time to mention to you guys that this is a treat, not a meal supplement. This is something your dogs can have just once in a while, not all the time. And also, for those of you that may not know, um, Jamie and I and some really good friends of ours and other people we know are starting a new animal shelter in our area. And for Memphis's birthday, people were making donations to the animal shelter as a birthday gift. So if you wanna make a donation to the Alpena County Animal Facility in honor of Miss Memphis's fifth birthday, there will be a link down in the video description below. And don't forget, every single dollar helps. So if you got a dollar and you wanna donate, that'd be awesome. If not, you could share it or donate later. We thought it'd be cool. As of Today, she's raised $1,300 in birthday donations. So let's see if we could double that. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> and there we have it. It's a birthday cake for Memphis. So I found a number five since she's five. And then I found a bunch of candles. I'm not gonna light them, but I thought it would look cool for the photo for the Memphis birthday cake. I also used a little bit of sprinkles on it. Not a whole lot, just something to give it a little bit of color. And yeah, now they get to try it. That turned out super, super cute. Gee, you think it's like your birthday or something? Are you excited? 
You want a piece of cake? You want to try it? Yeah? Can you speak? That was a jump. Can you speak? Oh my goodness. Yeah? Do you want this real bad? Happy birthday, baby girl. Ready? Nope. Sit. Sit. Wait. Okay, go. There you go. Are you so... Uh, you ever wonder why Memphis uses a slow feed bowl? That's why. Because when you give her things not in a slow feed bowl, she just tends to chomp, 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 swallow. Look at me, birthday girl. Happy birthday. <laughs> Did you even taste it? She's like, yeah, parts of it. Can I have more? <laughs> All right, it's Miss Oakley's turn. You ready for some birthday cake? She's like, wait, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, there's birthday cake up there. Here you go. Get it, girl. <laughs> oh my goodness. You could have nibbled it. You didn't have to inhale it. <laughs> uh. She's like, but it's so good. I have to. Is it good stuff? Yeah. I, I think that's a win. I think Oakley says it's pretty good. Yeah, can you turn around? Whoa, that was super fast. Can you do that again? Turn around. That was super good. Speak. You want this? <laughs> Sit. Yeah. You want this? Ready? And here you go. There you go. I say you'll probably eat it the slowest out of everybody. But it, you at least chew it. We would have done this outside, but there's a whole bunch of snow outside, and it's like, oh, look at what you're getting all over carpet. <laughs> Good thing we have a, a spot cleaner, huh? You just got peanut butter all over the carpet. I guess, I guess. It's Memphis's birthday, you're allowed to get peanut butter on the carpet. Yeah, there's like icy snow all over outside, so it was a little bit easier to do this inside. At least I thought. Now we got a spot clean the carpet. Good stuff, Shelby? Yep, good stuff. Well, there you have it. Birthday cake for dogs. As always, you guys, if you want to see more of our treat videos, there will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below. We have more birthday cake videos, pup cake videos, treats, all kinds of fun stuff if you want to go check those out. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that bell to be notified whenever we put up new videos. As always, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Happy birthday, Miss Memphis. I can't believe you're five. Not only are you five, you've literally grown up on this channel in front of everybody since the day we got you. Can you believe that? You're the only one out of all the dogs, too, that has actually been on here. Well, you've been on here ever since we got you, too, but you weren't a puppy when we got you. You actually, like, grew up from puppy to now, which is just crazy. Happy birthday, Memphis Belle. Happy birthday. I'll play the tooth game. <laughs> Happy birthday, girl.